Hi everyone, welcome to this video on the target income hypothesis. This is going to be an alternative theory of physician behavior that is typically not taught in health economics courses, but uh, it comes up in discussion when talking about supplier induced demand. So without further delay, let's go and get started. So the target income hypothesis is a behavioral theory of physician behavior. We use this term behavioral theory which means that physicians don't use any sort of maximizing rules in the determination of their provision of care. So we're not going to model their behavior as a result of say some profit maximization problem or some utility maximization problem. Instead, we're gonna say that physicians have these income targets, right? And follow these rules of thumbs uh, and provide care in accordance for how they reach those targets. Now the simplest target income model is going to be as follows. Um, so they're going to supply care based on the following formula, where it looks like a standard profit function here, where T is going to be our target income, um, P is going to be our price for our healthcare services uh, provided, Q is going to be the number of healthcare services provided, and C is going to be a cost function, which is twice differentiable. It follows that this equation uh, can be used to go and generate our physician's inverse supply curve, which will be as follows. And we'll see that this specific supply curve um, will generate a model of physician services that has multiple equilibria. So this is the picture that we are going to be looking at. Um, we're gonna have a U-shaped uh, supply curve here, where we're just gonna put a standard straight line demand curve here, and we see that we have two equilibria in this case. Now, the interpretation of these two equilibria is that a physician can choose between two different practice styles. They can provide a small amount of care to a high income clientele, or they can provide a lot of care cheaply. Either one of these outcomes are equally possible in this target income model. Now, the target income hypothesis is generally facing pushback from mainstream health economists who are not convinced of behavioral theory more generally speaking. Two important criticisms are, there is no clear way with regards to how income targets are set without defining some type of optimizing behavior beforehand. Further, the target income hypothesis breaks down as a theory of how goods are provided or how healthcare services are provided if we add more than one healthcare service. So, if we have the following uh, target income equation, this time where our physician is now providing two different types of health services, um, there is any combination of these services uh, that are to be provided, which determines T. So target income models that have more than one healthcare service cannot say anything about the level of healthcare provision uh, at all, really, right? It, it really breaks things down here. But some people are still convinced uh, of this target income hypothesis. So that's a short little overview on this uh, target income hypothesis. It comes up every now and again when you're talking about supplier induced demand. I hope you guys uh, found this video informative or at the very least entertaining. Thank you so much.